Hi, my name is Tamsi Dalvi and yesterday I appeared in the Tableau Desktop 10 certification exam and I passed it with uh, very good numbers. So I wanted to share some experiences that I um, got along the way while I prepared for the exam and I wanted to share them with the community. So um, this is the certification uh, that you'll get once you've uh, completed the exam and passed it. And uh, they'll also share a breakdown of the scores that you got. They'll not exactly share the actual uh, questions that you got wrong, but uh, looking at uh, the layout, I can I can make out that um, I got quite a few questions uh, wrong um, for the theoretical part, and only got just one question wrong for the hands-on part. So um, as for the um, Tableau's website. They say that 70% of the exam is based on hands-on um, questions. Uh, you'll have to get to the source, uh, to the answer of that question by using the software itself. And 30% of the questions are based on uh, uh, theoretical knowledge of the of the software. But even those 30% of the questions, um, they are also based on the software itself. So if you've not been using the software. Uh, for the um, for the amount of months that they recommend, which is five months, um, you'd probably not not get um, the answer just by having read the knowledge based articles or something. Good thing that you'll find during the exam is that you do have access to the internet. So if you try to find out uh, an answer at, um, through the internet, you can actually do that. But uh, even the theoretical questions, they don't have answers um, on the internet. There's no textbook where the answers are actually written. Uh, one of the questions that I'd like to talk about, um, which I remember from the exam, was um, um, they showed us uh, a close up of this uh, part and they asked me, uh, what, is, um, uh, what is this uh, field called? What, what type of field is this? So there are two options by the name of um, uh, discrete. So I immediately knew that this is not a discrete uh, dimension or measure uh, because it's green. And so uh, all the continuous disc, uh, dimensions and measures are actually green. But this is a day, very special type of uh, discrete variable which you can use in Tableau. This is uh, a date type. So uh, the uh, when I tried to find out the answer for the two options which were written under uh, continuous, I could still not find the answer on the internet. Um, so they're talking about a, uh, a continuous state part or a continuous dimension. So moving forward, um, uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about is um, you need to figure out where you uh, currently stand. Uh, when I started, um, I took it a little uh, less seriously. I've been following uh, Tableau for a while. My background is not from the data analysis field, though I'm really interested uh, in this field. Um, I saw quite a few hand of Hans Roxling's um, videos. You should check them out if you need to get inspired by this uh, by this uh, data analysis field and the uh, field of visualization. My background is from telecom marketing. Uh, for the last three or four years, I've been working in the product management domain where uh, usage of uh, data has, has become a little more important. So I started using Tableau a little bit on my own. And back then, um, I could not uh, get access to Tableau because Tableau only has a 14-day trial, and my company did not have uh, was not using Tableau at that time. So I'll give you a few tips later down in the video about how you can get access to Tableau. So let's suppose you're an ultra beginner, uh, and by an ultra beginner I mean that uh, you don't have any data analysis background. Uh, you're completely new to this field. Um, for that kind of guy, I'd probably not uh, recommend Tableau as your first um, uh, base because Tableau uh, builds upon some data analysis concepts like database management systems, SQL. You need to be, oh, it looks, when you look at Tableau, it looks like it's very easy drag and drop, uh, bringing fields and measures to the field, to the views and actually uh, making them uh, look like uh, very nice graphs and stuff like that. But um, uh, in reality, um, it builds upon, if you need to do some analysis, you need to build upon some uh, um, some concepts which you got from uh, other uh, data analysis, uh, basic knowledges of data analysis software. Um, 
secondly, if you're a beginner uh, in the data analysis, uh, you know a bit about data analysis, you've been doing data analysis in Excel or some other uh, software, but you're new to Tableau. Uh, that is the kind of guy who needs those five months to actually uh, uh, get through and uh, do the exam and that is what this video is actually based on so if you consider yourself as an intermediate level uh, tableau user or advanced level tableau user um, i would say that uh, for both of them the solution is same uh, even if you're an advanced user uh, this exam is actually this will not be testing very advanced level skills Though the only difference is that this exam will be testing um, a, a variety of uh, subject matters. Uh, so, for example, uh, you need to be very well rounded uh, uh, in your uh, information about everything. So, there might be guys out there uh, who have, um, um, uh, who are very advanced users, they know level of detail expressions, they can do amazing stuff with sets groups and stuff like that but if they're in their day-to-day -day usage they might not come across uh, um, everything that they require so go through the exam preparation guide um, and uh, check out all the skills that you need to uh, to be aware of um, to to give the exam um, don't think that something is less important or more important so coming to the first step uh, about uh, where to start for people who actually have a data analysis background, uh, don't have access to Tableau, but would like to enhance their skills. So, so, so what I understood from um, uh, this, this uh, exam prep guide and um, the recommendations is uh, this exam is actually for those people who have been using Tableau for a little while, uh, who have access to Tableau uh, either in their companies, but just to get um, that certification, just to be certified and tell the world that uh, they're good enough, uh, this exam is there for them. And um, so somebody who doesn't have access to Tableau, who's never used Tableau before, uh, is in a little bit of a, a weak situation like that. So um, uh, when I come to um, uh, tip zero, the, this is probably going to be the first tip that any person who uh, tells you about a Tableau certification will give you. Uh, so and that is about going to the Tableau website, going to learnings and um, watching all the videos which are in the free training videos. Um, uh, maybe if you're new to Tableau, you might not be able to understand all of them. These are very detailed videos, but still um, there's some concepts which are very different uh, from uh, regular SQL if you're coming from a database uh, management system uh, thinking. Uh, this is very uh, visual. Uh, uh, the approach of uh, Tableau is very visual and it uh, harnesses some visual analytics techniques which are not available in any other software out there. So you'd, you'd have a bit of a learning curve for, to, to get there. Um, it looks drag and drop, but it's not so easy. Some of the calculations are not so easy to perform. Um, so the second tip uh, is, uh, is a great tip for people who don't have access to Tableau and would like to put in a little bit of effort to do a course. And this course is actually a course which is available on Coursera.com and uh, um, you can search for it uh, through data visualization uh, in Tableau and you'll get to a, a course from Duke, Duke University. There are two good things about this course. The first is uh, the teaching method is great, the course content is amazing, syllabus is great. Um, they make use of an amazing data, real world data set, that data problem that you solve in, during this um, uh, course. But the best thing about this course is that uh, just by registering for it uh, and you don't have to enroll in the paid version of it, you can just go through the free version of it, you still get access to a six month license of uh, Tableau, uh, which, is, uh, which I haven't uh, seen anywhere else. So um, this is where you get hold of, uh, the, of Tableau to be able to use it for the next six months and get accustomed to the, to the software more. Secondly, uh, and this is a tip that I haven't seen anywhere being talked about if you want to learn Tableau. Um, every year Tableau actually does uh, uh, a Tableau conference and it, during these uh, Tableau conferences they have uh, sessions dedicated to each kind of skill set uh, 
where they teach you the hands-on um, practices of uh, real life, real world uh, situations where you would uh, use uh, Tableau to come up to a solution. So um, at, uh, this is uh, 2016's uh, Tableau conference website. You go here, you sign in, you sign up. I've already signed in um, and you uh, there are about hundreds of different videos from the different uh, from the different uh, people who actually talked in that uh, conference um, the videos are amazing you can check them out in your free time but the part that i'd like to uh, talk about with regards to the cloud certification is go to resources section and go down to the end of the page see there are so many um, presentations from the conference but uh, go down to the end where it starts with HOT. HOT stands for hands-on training uh, and uh, these are this is the whole zip file of the hands-on training exercise uh, workbooks uh, which you can download. I downloaded all of them to my computer and uh, uh, this is what it looks like. So when you unzip the file, um, it, it makes a whole folder and within that folder uh, there are uh, there's a starter workbook, a solution workbook, and then there's a guided website. So this is where the most interesting part comes in. The guided website actually, uh, so this is about advanced calculations and dates. And uh, when you go through the um, uh, guided website, each uh, exercise, uh, there are about 20 or 15 exercises in each of them related to uh, maybe advanced calculations. This is advanced calculations. So they'll give you a problem. They'll give you some time. This is what happens at the at the conference itself. So the the people they have their web uh, laptops with them. They open up Tableau. They get this problem. They get the data set, and they have to solve it right there and then. And uh, once it's done, the the people who are organizing the session they will go through the solution guide which will tell you how to actually solve it. So this is one of those most amazing um, uh, things that you'll get and even for people who are in their advanced or intermediate stages with, uh, with Tableau, they can actually go into um, which areas are the weak areas for them. For example, I am the type of person who does more of data exploration. Uh, I'm not so much into dashboarding and storyboarding. I don't present my data. So parameters were something that I never used. I used for uh, filtering. I used calculations. I used uh, data blending. I used um, level of detail expressions, but uh, sets. But I never used uh, parameters, and there are quite a few uh, which uh, help you, which teach you dashboarding, storyboarding, um, uh, the look and feel of your worksheets and stuff like that. Um, so those were my weak areas, and I actually worked in them to to uh, um, further my exam uh, preparations. So coming back to the actual exam experience, uh, the actual exam experience, um, if you want to find out what it uh, looks like, um, the questions look like, go through the um, go through Tableau's um, uh, preparation guide, and uh, there are a few about 14 questions which you can do uh, as a starting point. You can go through these uh, uh, challenge questions. This is a very good representation of the type of questions you can expect to get from them. Secondly, um, I'd say that um, get accustomed to a few of the data sets which are included with Tableau. So there is a Superstore data set which is included with uh, Tableau. And uh, there is a, a World Indicators uh, uh, data set which is included with Tableau. Open these uh, uh, data sets, work with them, try to play with them, find out about the granularity, find out about uh, which um, um, attribute or measure means what in this data field because uh, from what I saw, 60 to 70 percent of my questions were actually based out of um, uh, the Superstore data set and in the folder that I uh, that they had asked me to work on uh, there was this world indicators data set in there also there was a volcanic eruptions data set which you can find here and there lying around in the internet there are some questions maybe on the guided websites um, of the Tableau conference you'll find the volcanic eruptions 
accustom yourself to to that uh, data set also um, so that you don't waste time uh, figuring out stuff sometimes uh, uh, the the questions are worded in a way where i felt as if the 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 person who made the question expected me to understand having understood the uh, data set from before uh, if it's about superstore people are used to it but uh, in my case it was about a different data set uh, which i haven't seen anywhere else yet but 70 to 80% of the questions you will find from the data sets which you will see in the guided websites and superstore and uh, places like that thirdly uh, don't try to work uh, even when you are studying when you are uh, doing the exercises um in uh, even on the tableau conference website there are some very advanced level uh, sessions also in the hands on training uh, try to avoid them because this exam is not really uh, a, an advanced level exam it's uh, an intermediate level exam they will not ask you to do very very complex uh, level of detail expressions even uh, the simple calculations will not be very complex you won't be asked to do nested calculations all of that um the exam is relatively simple don't waste your time thinking that this question can be answered by a, a, some complex uh, mechanism at the end of the day they are not looking at what, how you are getting to the answer they are only looking at the answer itself so and most of the times there are ways uh, to get to that answer in a very simple way so focus on that uh lastly uh, i'd like to talk about uh, a tip uh, which uh, helped me a little bit um, and it might not help you a lot if you if you've gone through the coursera website uh, you've done that course you've gone through about 15 to 18 of these um hands on training exercises these are very detailed you 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 take about maybe to do each of them properly it might take you a few days so you might get stuck in some of the questions and not find out go back to the training videos and watch them again and then come back and answer them um uh, i did some mock tests there are some mock tests available on the internet um there is one which is done by uh lucas halim i'll i'll, I'll mention that uh, Uh, website I'll, i'll mention that course um, on the internet uh, you can search for it on udemy um, it's a paid uh, course you search for lucas i mean and uh, it's uh, the exam uh, which uh, the mock test which is part of this um, uh, course is actually quite tough uh, but it does give you a good experience of uh, the type of question you can expect I got a 63 in this exam uh, while just two days later I you know, appeared in the official exam and I got a 90. So this really this uh, exam really stretches you uh, to the end, but uh, you do get get a fair idea of um, where. It is. So this is the uh, full exam. You can go to it. There is a link uh, to this course uh, in the notes below. This is my experience and my, my tips. Uh, please do comment on uh, on if something I missed out or something that you would like to share in the comments below. Thank you so much.